Hey, how you doing? Ryan here from Interactive Garage. Um, coming to you at the beginning of quarter three of 2021. Um, for those of you that are new, uh, which there are a lot of you, a lot of uh, new licensees for us for quarter two, so thank you all for joining us. Um, but for all, all of you that are new, uh, this is something that I do every quarter, so every three months uh, I do this update. Um, but anytime you want to really see what is available on your interactive garage that is new, there's two ways to do it. One is go ahead and log on to our interactive garage Facebook page. Uh, I post all the time on there. Uh, most of the posts have to do with what's new. You know, hey, come see our new Subaru Outback. Uh, come and check out uh, the new steps from Go Rhino on the, uh, on the Bronco or what have you. So I, I go to our Facebook page all the time. I just felt that you know doing these and flooding your uh, your email inbox every month with more and more uh, info and all the other stuff that you get from the manufacturers was just too much. So Facebook page, go to that one. That is where we're going to put all the the you know, weekly type updates, and we are updating all the time. Um, the other place to go look is in your admin, right? So if you go into your admin and you go to let's say your vehicles tab, the vehicles tab, you're going to be able to see. Uh, by you know the sort and filter uh, that you have on there is if there's an X next to the vehicle that means uh, it is not enabled on your uh, on your program and then same thing on the manufacturers uh, page manufacturers products uh, tab you'll be able to see you know if you know you always want you know addictive desert designs enabled on your program and you see an X next to it and you've only got you know 1,000 of you know 1,500 uh, SKUs as an example uh, with an X. That means that we've added a bunch of SKUs and you don't have them uh, turned on. If there's a check mark that ma that means everything that we have or everything that you have for that manufacturer is running on your program. So um, check those two spots all the time, uh, especially the Facebook page because again we are updating all the time. So let's just jump right into what we have updated so far. Uh, last quarter. Um, so first off is we've added five new vehicles. So I'm just going to use um, Joe's Auto Parts here to show you one of the new vehicles which is the uh, Chevrolet Tahoe. So on the Tahoe we've got uh, these sub models. So let's go take a look at that Z71. And the reason that I focus on the sub models is you know when you the sub models are different, you know. Back in the back in the days, where it was like, "Hey, here's a Jeep Rubicon uh, Wrangler," and they might have had a Rubicon and a Sport and maybe a Sahara, you know. Now manufacturers are putting out so many different sub models that let's say even for this example here, where the Z71 uh, grill is different uh, than the other grills on the other models. So you know, if we put a a grill insert on this vehicle, or we put a grill insert on the program. Uh, for this vehicle, it better fit the Z71 model, or your customer that orders it is going to bring it back to you. And hopefully, they didn't do you know start the install or do anything to the vehicle uh, before we did that, or before you know they went and started putting it on. So we take a lot of pride into our fitment guide that we have. Um, that's why I always will call out all the different sub models and the different cabs and the different beds and. You know, so if you see a vehicle with a crew cab, a short bed, uh, and, and the submodel of, let's say, a Z71, uh, know that the products that we put on that vehicle are the products that work on that vehicle. So our, our, we believe that our fitment guide is one of the best in the industry um, because even the Aces and Pi info from, let's say, SEMA Data Corp or DCI, you know, does not go into the detail uh, in their Aces and Pi's data that, that we do on our program. So anyway, to go back to this, uh, so yes, new vehicle will we'll have a plethora of wheels and tires because it'll carry over from the last uh, uh, Tahoe. And then on the products, you know, we're limited to what the manufacturers have available. This vehicle was, uh, t seems to be a difficult one to get a lot of info on. Uh, I don't think there was any running boards yet. I checked all the different manufacturers and even hit them up via uh, an email. Um, but we do have some roof rack info from Yakima, so um, there's both a OE factory rack as well as a Yakima crossbar setup that works for this vehicle. Hood protections, vent visors, and then you know our lift kits plus two, and you know this is just kind of 
you know, so the, we can qualify the customer into a bigger set of tires, even though right now we have not seen any lifts available for this vehicle. So we'll keep adding to this vehicle as, uh, as we continue to get information from our manufacturers. So next, uh, we'll use Autoplex here uh, to show one of the new vehicles, that is our Subaru Outback. So again, we're, as you see, the 2021, really focusing on new vehicles. And on the submodels, you'll see all the different submodels of the Outback. Um, and you know, another reason for that is, you know, any of you that are uh, OEM uh, dealerships, which we have a lot of dealerships on our program, thank you for joining. Um, but we want to make sure that if a customer is using this at your location and we want to show them the exact vehicle that they are purchasing from you. So, you know, in this case where we've got the uh, Subaru Outback, I chose the Limited XT. Um, you know, one other thing I want to point out here before I just jam through some of the products on this vehicle is you see how nice this full frame application is from Autoplex, you know. To get that full frame application, it, it just take our iframe that we send you, and this is the only thing that we will you know, suggest that you modify, because any other modifications to our iframe usually tend, ends up being something broken and something that doesn't work. So take our iframe exactly, put it into your site. And if you want this full frame setting like Autoplex does compared to, and again, no offense here, you know, Joe's Auto Parts might not, their platform might not, might not have the ability to do a full frame setting, which, you know, you can look on, on your homepage. And if your frame does break apart past this, which this one does not. So, you know, Joe's here has a restriction from his website platform that he cannot extend. Um, it is what it is. I mean, that's what you're, that's what you're dealt uh, with this platform. Um, but if you do have the ability to go full frame, please do it. And then the other point I'm going to make is the backgrounds here. All right. So when you, when your customer launches interactive garage, you know, even though they can change it, we can go and change this background, you know, why not stay current to what season that we're in, you know? So this one still has a wet roads and mountains that are, that have some snow onto them. Um, you know, autoplex, even though I love this background, I would say the snow in the background and, and the fall colors are kind of, you know, which one are we in? Are we in uh, fall coming up or winter? But I, I do like this background. It is kind of summery. So just go into your admin and make sure that you stay current with uh, the seasons that we're at. All right, so back to the Subaru. Uh, a lot of products uh, on here that are still, I should say a lot of products are still to come. We do have some nice products from, you know, even the OEM, so even the Subaru accessory uh, division. So we've got some stuff from them on there. Um, LP Adventure, you know, great, great manufacturer that makes a lot of products for the Subarus. So you'll be able to see a bunch of their products on there. Um, also, you saw Warren makes a really cool bumper uh, with an inserted winch and everything on to it. You know, wheels and tires, we've got a good lineup from the, you know, folks at Raceline and Ultra Wheel on their Platinum division. Uh, more to come from a lot of wheel companies. LP Adventure has their own wheels too. And then vent visors, you know, AVS uh, always does a great job getting their vent visors and their hood shields out uh, right away for all the vehicles. So um, another new vehicle, this makes two Subarus for us. So if you're a Subaru dealer, you know, make sure that uh, you go and enable all the vehicles and products that you want to show. All right, so third vehicle here, we're gonna go and do a, let's do the new Escalade. So the new Cadillac, it's kind of, uh, we've, we did a lot with the whole General Motors side of, of uh, the vehicles this time around. Again, I'll make a comment on the background. I would change this up, but that's just me. Um, so on the Cadillac, kind of like the Tahoe, waiting for more accessories from manufacturers, um, you know, wheels and tires. We really don't want to be a wheel and tire only program, but sometimes, you know, vehicles like the Escalade that don't have a lot of accessories put onto them aftermarket wise or OE wise, you know, other than, you know, stuff like this, the vent visors and the hood shields and, and, and what have you. But we're going to keep uh, populating this vehicle as products get sent to us. 
Let's move on to the next vehicle. So on this one, we're gonna do a 2001 Chevrolet Colorado. Again, as I said, we got a lot of Chevrolet stuff. So the trim, the sub models here, uh, we'll do the ZR2, it's kind of a cool, cool look. Uh, we've got the crew cab and the extended cab. We have two different beds. We have the short bed as well as the long bed, uh, just depending, you know, I'm sure if I would have picked a different model. So let's try a different model and see. So on the LT, there's a crew cab that has both uh, beds available for it. So again, we're, we're driving this based on what the, what the OEMs are telling us are available for their vehicles. So for that ZR, ZR2, the only one that was available on the, on the crew cab was the short bed and not the short and long. So this one is the uh, LT. And then again, we're just gonna keep populating this, this vehicle. The wheels and tires were a carryover, very odd bolt pattern. So there was not a ton of wheels to carry over. Uh, we did some interior products with Husky. We're gonna finish off and do some more interior products with the Chevy accessory division and a new manufacturer that we just signed up that we're working on, which is uh, WeatherTech. So there's your Chevy Colorado. Um, oh, one thing on this Colorado I do want to show is we do, uh, we did do a exterior. I don't know if you guys also noticed, you know, we're, we're, we're constantly, constantly adding, uh, to these vehicles. I mean, you know, cool items like these thumbnails, which I know I went over in the Q2 new product announcements, but you know, the, the, the cool little, you know, and you know, so you can look at the tonneau covers and click on them and say, you know, I know I'm looking for this you know, tri-fold type look, not, not a full hard tonneau cover. So, you know, the thumbnails do a nice job getting you to look at the product first. Uh, we also are really proud of the animation side that we're doing. So, you know, uh, the guys at Truck Hero said, hey, our customers really need to see what the product, how the product functions on the vehicle, not just how it looks. So that animation is pretty cool, as well as, you know, we're putting any information that the manufacturers give us. So in this case, you know, Undercover, Undercover gave us a video uh, off their YouTube page to look at it. Um, my point on the, all this was uh, the rear view is available for this Colorado as well as the previous Colorado. We added the rear view to that because it was not there before. So there's your Colorado. You can go and click through and see what's available from roof racks, running boards, hood protection, grill guards, etc. All right, so next we're gonna to go to Pure Performance here and we're gonna do another Chevrolet and this one is actually gonna be the Camaro. Now, I'll be honest with you on this one, uh, we just launched this. I wanted to launch it mainly because we're getting a lot of Chevy dealerships saying, hey, even if it's just tires and wheels, let's just get it up there. So it is, it's just tires and wheels right now. Um, we'll work on all the, you know, the bras and the hood shields and the side window protectors and the different graphics packages, the different body kits. Um, very intricate vehicle. The muscle cars have been a, just a, a bear to work with as far as, you know, having this different front and rear view than our trucks. Um, you know, so I, we do have to put the different wheels and tires on each of the views. Uh, but we believe on the on the muscle cars, this was the right thing to do. So when we get to showing the different wings, side louvers, and all that stuff, it's going to be really cool. But for now, um, you know, your customers can take a look at different colors, uh, as well as uh, some tire and wheel options um, for this vehicle. And then really, that wraps up. So that wraps up what we've done on the vehicle introduction. So we did a Tahoe an Escalade, an Outback, a Colorado, and a Camaro. So again, a lot on the General Motor side. Um, and we're really working on, what we try to do is just look at what we're missing. You know, so what, what is highly accessorized in the industry? What vehicle is it? What products are available from our great vendors uh, on the aftermarket and on the OE side, and then get that vehicle up there. So. The, you know, when I look at the Camaro, Camaro is a really cool muscle car that has done well for a lot of years for Chevy. Um, so, you know, just wheels and tires for now, at least gets the vehicle up there. And then as we add in the exterior products that are available, um, you know, uh, to all of our vehicles are going to be really cool 
and a nice uh, feature for your customers to take a look at. So next, um, you know, let's talk about, let me look down my list here. Uh, okay, so we've got a lot of info going on with the release of the Bronco. They're just starting to hit the dealerships. Um, you know, if you are a dealership, I mentioned this in my last uh, quarter, uh, quarter one or quarter two announcement that, you know, we do have a Bronco specific program. Um, love to talk to you about that, but you know, the Broncos are hitting the dealerships and really they're going to just take off. So, you know, our Bronco program right now is super heavy on Ford accessories. So if you look at, um, and you can look at it in your program, uh, it doesn't have to be just this Bronco program. You can go in and look at all the submodels. And right now, because there's not a lot of aftermarket parts, because not a lot of aftermarket companies have seen the Bronco, it is super heavy on, you know, Ford Accessory Division. Ford Accessory did a great job holding this vehicle close to their heart and not allowing a lot of manufacturers, if any, to get out there and put new products on it. Now, with that being said, the cool part and, you know, how fast that we work here at Interactive Garage is, you know, I saw a post on Bronco 6G, um, great, great site, great forum, that said that Go Rhino was already putting products out there uh, for the Bronco. So I said, hey, why not? Uh, I'll, we'll grab some of the steps that we've had on other vehicles and we're going to map them to the Bronco. So we've already got part numbers, we've already got prices, and we've already got the entire line um, of steps from Go Rhino available right now. Um, you can even go to their site and go ahead and look at all the different uh, steps. And actually, their site's pretty cool. You can actually uh, buy right off of the site but you know you can go right on here uh, do vehicle color as well as play around with all their different steps that they have available and as I said boom you want to check out and just buy from go rhino right now um, there you go you can check out and, and, and get going on the Bronco but but anyway um, Bronco is gonna be a game changer everyone knows that um, even if you're a Jeep fanatic you know that the Broncos you know, definitely going to give the Wrangler the run for the money as far as the most accessorized vehicle uh, in the planet. Uh, I believe that, and I'm not even a Ford fan. Um, but the Bronco is going to continue to be populated by interactive garage. As soon as something comes out for it, we're going to get it on there as fast as we can. Um, BDS just released some uh, products for it as far as uh, lift kits, you know, just some basic leveling kits for that vehicle. We're working on those now. By the time you get this, uh, probably in a, a week or so, those kits will be up there. Uh, more and more wheels are going to come out for it because, you know, that bolt pattern was used by other Ford vehicles. And then just as more and more of the, the vendors to get their hands on these vehicles and get us products for them, we're going to put them up there. So if you're a Ford dealer or if, you know, your business is to stay up with selling the most accessories out there for everything, uh, make sure you stay on your admin and watch the new products that come out for the Bronco and uh, follow us on the Facebook page. Okay, so while I'm on this Bronco, I'll go over a few new products that I know that we added. A um, uh, new manufacturer that we're trying to get on board. And as you know, uh, uh, those of you that have heard these before, Sometimes to really show a manufacturer what we can do with their products, uh, I put the products on some vehicles as a test. So Baja Designs, um, what we did with Baja Designs is we did a, lot, we, we did a couple uh, product samples for them to show them what their products would look like since they were another vendor that somehow got a hold of an early Bronco and started building products for them. So like these fog light pocket kits you know, you're going to see a little bit of change every now and then if it's an amber light or what have you. The difference between their toggle switch and their upfitter is literally, you can see it in the info box here. So we even did little info boxes to show you what comes in the package. Um, if, if like on here, it says only use with models with steel bumper. So again, our fitment data, we try to stay up on, but you know, this is pretty cool. You know, Baja Designs did a really nice job um, getting some product out there 
as quick as possible. You know, the, uh, this is going to be a super popular area right here. This mirror-mounted light, you're going to about you're going to see about every light possible. Even I think a, a, a full light bar coming across here. Um, mark my word on that one. So, you know, you can go ahead and you know just go through this via uh, go through these vehicles or go through your own, and you can see all the different uh, stuff that is available um, from. Ford, from Ford Accessory Divisions, from Go Rhino, from, from Baja Designs, and then as well as any of the, the wheel companies um, that we have going on while in the Bronco. One more here on the Bronco, and then I'll move on to another vehicle, wheels and tires. We're going to go to tires. We'll do 20, Mickey Thompson. So the Baja Boss AT um, is a new tire for us uh, that we have on every vehicle. So as you can see, there's a lot of different Baja Boss ATs, um, and you can click around onto them and see the different uh, part numbers, the different prices for it. Again, that price is for four. Um, but yeah, we with the, the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss AT is on every vehicle on Interactive Garage right now. Let me flip over here to another vehicle uh, and tell you about another tire that we have on every vehicle. So um, it is a Yokohama tire. And as you see the cool thumbnails here, but we have added the Geolander AT G015. So a nice um, semi-aggressive looking AT and all the different applications from I believe 17 to uh, 22 is the largest they do. I'm going to have to look at that. Yep, so there's a 22. I don't think there is a 24. And yes, I'm right. 20, there's only 22 inch is their highest. But uh, the, the Geolander AT G015 is also available on all the interactive garage vehicles. And next, I'm going to cruise over to the oh-so-popular number one vehicle hit on Interactive Garage right now is the Jeep Wrangler JL Unlimited and show you a couple new products there. One is in the spare tire and carrier's accessory side, TerraFlex. TerraFlex has three really nice, really well-built different tire carrier options uh, for the, the JL so that that will fit the two-door and the four-door of, of that vehicle. All right, and next we're gonna cruise over to the exterior, go down to lighting. First, we're gonna start with the bumper mounted from XK Glow, um, a couple different bumper uh, light mounts. So this is really cool. They made this mount so that it does not have to have the factory bumper. No matter what bumper that you put on here, it, will, it just mounts to the frame so it can kind of hover over. A couple different uh, lights that they have that are really cool that you should go to their site and learn more about. Um, this is a color change in RGB and then this uh, SAR search and rescue is a really, really cool light. I mean, you, you, you can kind of see a little bit from the video that we put on here, um, but I'm really going to suggest you just go to their website because this search and rescue light is really cool. Um, we put that on the bumper. We also put it on the hood. Scroll down here and see XK Glow. You can see the RGB one as well as that search and rescue. And then they also put that search and rescue one on the windshield, sorry. And it's not just putting the light on there. They actually built mounts uh, for these. So these mounts are uh, the whole package, as you can see when I clicked on this, the whole package is ready to go from XK Glow. So head over to their site after you enable these products on your interactive garage and take a look at how cool those search and rescue lights are. All right, next, and I totally forgot, and I am kicking myself because this is one of my favorite vehicles that will be in my garage someday. Um, a new vehicle that we did add, so go to 2021 Ram. 1500 can anyone guess yep the trx um so you know if you anyone knows about this vehicle it's only available in the crew cab it's only available in the short box there's only like four items you can actually or, or different uh, options off the site that you can do and it's just good better 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 um, so we did the trx package it's already kind of pre-lifted it's already got 35s on it 
It's already got the wider fender flare, so super beefy looking vehicle. Uh, again, totally embarrassed that I missed that vehicle as a new vehicle because it is one of my favorites. Um, but not only do I get to announce this new vehicle that's on there, um, a lot of products, a lot of products did carry over. Um, not a ton, but a lot of products did. Uh, but a, no, a new product uh, from Trail FX I get to introduce is this new A4 series Nerf bar uh, for this vehicle. And I think there was about 20 or so applications for uh, that new product from Trail FX uh, that you can see on this vehicle. And then really beyond that, let me just kind of go because I'm already running long winded as it is. Uh, let me just go real quickly and read off what the other stuff. So Yokohama, we also put some muscle car tires on, on the Challenger, and then we're going to put some more on the Camaro and on the, uh, the Ford Mustang, which I did on the Q2 is when we did the Ford Mustang. Um, let's see, we did uh, LP Adventure on the Outback and on the Bronco Sport. So the LP Adventure makes wheels that fit on the Bronco Sport. You're going to see those on there. AVS, Auto Vent Shade. A uh, ton of new applications uh, on all the vehicles. So if you're signed up on their new product announcement that you're going to see all the stuff that we, we just take that new product announcement that they send out and add it to our vehicles. So a lot of new from AVS, a lot of new from Bushwhacker. Um, we talked about the Trail FX A4 Nerf Steps, uh, the new rear view on the V1 Colorado. So I think, again, that Colorado is like 2017 to 2019 or 20. Um, the XK Glow uh, Weston uh, just updated uh, a bunch of the new Pro Series bumpers, the HDX winch mount, uh, Sportsman X grill guard, and Pro Mod front and rear bumpers on a lot of the vehicles. So they put out new applications. We grabbed them down, put them over on Interactive Garage. Um, BFG uh, has some new uh, muscle car tires on the Challenger, and again, like Yokohama, we're going to put those on the Camaro as well as the Challenge or on the Ford Mustang. And then BDS just came out with some new kits um, for the 19 and, and newer uh, Chevy and GMC 1500s. I won't really say they're new kits. They just uh, re uh, they they re they just put new part numbers on to them. Probably did some modifications to it, but um, just to stay up with everything that they're doing. Um, you know, that's going to be up on your uh, Chevy and GMC 1500s. And as I said, when we were on the Broncos, uh, they've got a couple new leveling kits for the Broncos. So um, thanks for tuning in here and head over to our Facebook page, log in, sign up, do whatever you need to do to like it. Uh, so you can see all the other new stuff we have going on. Stay in your admin, um, update your background. Uh, check out your save builds and your email builds that are going on. Hit up people that are doing save builds as long as they're consent to the email uh, so you can contact them. And um, again, if you have any questions ever, ryan at interactivegarage.com or call the office anytime, which you all have my info on because it's on the bottom of every one of our emails. So um, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll catch you next time.